What's up YouTube? Today we are going to be porting mods from Breath of the Wild Wii U version to the Nintendo Switch version. Um, I'm going to leave some links in the bottom in the description that's going to show you uh, everything that you need to go ahead and download to get started. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you the process of this. So first things first, you need to download your mod. I will leave a description, uh, I will leave a link in the description below of the mod that I'm going to work with today. Now I've already went ahead and downloaded it. It's uh, the Magic Mirror Armor from Twilight Princess uh, ported for the Wii U and we're going to port this to the Switch. All right, so first things first is we're going to go ahead and extract this. Now that we have it extracted, we really don't necessarily need that anymore, so I'm just going to delete it. Now, I keep all of my stuff together in like one, one big folder, and I've made a specific folder for everything that I need for porting mods from the Wii U to the Switch. Um, things that you'll need is going to be like a Smash Forge, um, you'll need Sark Tool, the Yazofast, um, uh, you may need hack disk mount, especially if you're going to be pulling things from the update. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do all that, uh, that might be another video, but uh, that'll be when I also get a video editor to edit out uh, keys and all that. So. Um, but other things you'll need, uh, GTX Extract, um, Extract Update NCA, if you're going to be pulling those update files, uh, Embedded Extract, BNTX Injector, BNTX Extract, you might need that one, you probably don't, but Befresic Extractor and Befres Text replacer. Um, also, one more thing, in GTX Extract, I've already extracted everything that I need, but um, I will also leave a, a link to the convert to dds.bat that will go into the GTX Extract folder. Um, but you'll see the whole process as we go along. Um, so what I like to do is open up my file here. Um, in this one, there's uh, two different versions. I'm going to go ahead and extract both of these. Uh, this is for the caffeine. It doesn't look like there's too much of a difference in those two. It's all the... It's all the same thing. It looks like what the uh, author of this mod did was is they um, they went ahead and uh, made files specifically for Caffeine and uh, for the Wii U and Simu as well. So I'm just going to use the Caffeine one. Um, now, I'm not entirely sure exactly which one it is because there's like four different ones by the look of it, um, but I'm just going to use these. So in this folder, we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and make a folder just to keep things simple. I'm going to name it switch. Um, now the next thing you'll need is to make sure that you have your, uh, your files that you're going to want to work with specifically from the switch version. Okay. So I've got everything here, so what I'm going to look for is Armor 20, SB Fress, and Tex SB Fress Armor 20. Uh, so, for the sake of showing this, I'm going to copy this over and drop it here. And now I'm looking for Armor Tex 20. And there we go. Copy that. And paste. All right. So first things first. Hello.
Well, that was a surprise. Did not expect my alarm to go off. <laughs> Anyways, so first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to go into SART tool. And we need to take these um, SBFRES files and drag and drop them onto SART. And you will get a BFRES. So drag and drop both of those. Uh, you can go ahead and actually delete the SBFRES unless you just really want to keep them for some reason. All right, next thing, drag and drop these all files. Delete that one. Sark. Delete that one. Okay. Next thing, we're going to come back here and we're going to take uh, SBFRES extractor and we're going to take the text one BFRES and drag and drop it on to there. And we will get a dumb little error, which means, yep, I'm gonna miss the normal maps, but it should, it should be just fine, even, even without that. It should work just fine, no problem. I don't know why, it might be a conflict because I've got, uh, I think, I think I've got Python like 2.7 and the 3.0, 3.1, something like that installed and there might be a conflict uh, going on with having both of them installed. Um, I'm not really sure, but in any case, this will just give you a good idea of how it works anyways um, and what you're supposed to do anyway. So once you have, <clears throat> once you run it through BFRES Extractor, you'll get a, a 1T ftex file and you'll have uh, these files and gtx's so what we'll take is we'll just select all of those come back over here go into gtx extract what you'll want to do is create a folder called gtx like you see here and what we're going to do is drag and drop all those over here and this is where the convert to DDS com dot back comes in. Without that, you would have to drag and drop every single GTX file onto GTX extract exe. Uh, but with convert to DDS bat, it's going to run everything in that GTX file all together. And then now we have the DDS files. Um, what I actually like to do is <clears throat> I like to do a search for all of my DDS files and highlight those, drag them over, clear this out, and since we really don't need these, mm, yeah, since we really don't need those, it'll be all good. Um, now, next thing is going to be that we're going to come back over here and go to the switch folder. Now, in the switch folder, we are going to take this, uh, the text BFRES, and we're going to go to um, embedded extract, and we're going to take the switch BFRES and drag it onto embed extract. And it's going to ask us to select a file. We're going to select text.bfres. And it's going to give us a textures.bntx. All right. That's the, that's the easy thing. All right. The hard part about this is going to be coming up with um, bntx injector. So if we go into bntx injector and load up bntx injector.exe. Uh, we're going to get this. In here, we're going to say open. Uh, we're going to actually go to where we have... We're going to go to where we have our folder set up at. And what we're looking for is magic armor, SD caffeine. I think I did. Not that one. Ah, there we go. And we're going to go to switch. We're going to say texture BNTX. And here you can actually see everything here. All right, no problem. 
All right, so now that we have our texture file opened, we can go ahead and start working on importing the, um, well, replacing our DDS files with what we pulled out. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit replace, back up one, we're going to go into one FTEX. And so what this is wanting, it's wanting the 20 hair alb. So we're going to look for 20 hair alb .dds and hit OK and hit OK. I'm going to pull this over because I like to see exactly what I'm looking at on both screens. So now we're going to look for a hair normal. Replace hair specular map, switch to the next one, hair alb zero. And we're just going to keep following what this wants. Head normal, specular map, lower alb, lower normal map, lower specular map, belt. Normal map, specular map, upper alb is here, and it's just basically keep doing this and you'll get, um, you'll get everything eventually. Um, this one is where it would not, uh, yeah, these two it wouldn't, um, it wouldn't go through for some reason. Uh, it should be fine even with that not going through properly. Um, but what we can do is just go ahead and start on uh, head alb zero. Well, head alb one, I should say. And it's going to do head alb one, then 10. And then uh, we're just going to keep following the order. It's going to go through 1, 12, 1, 10, 12. 1, 10, 11, 12 to 15, then we're going to start to uh, go to actually, then we'll actually go from 2 to 9 and then continue on from there. Now this is honestly by far the longest process of this and it's borderline aggravating to be honest. Now it looks like some of these um, some of these textures were actually not changed uh, by the original mod author which I might show another uh, video on how to do that and do color edits. Um, uh, it's actually a very simple process. Uh, it can be, it can be a little difficult if you, but like once you really get a good flow of it and you have a good color scheme in mind, uh, it can be very simple. Now, in, in this process, um, actually replacing and fixing these files that, uh, that were not replaced by the original mod author um, who did the port to begin with, that can be a little complicated because you're actually going to try and color match everything, and that's where the fun is. And I'm sorry, this is going to be taking so long. Uh, this is a this is a long, somewhat long process, to be honest with you. And some of them like really aren't all that bad uh, because they don't have so many texture replaces. Uh, this actually has so many because it's a it is an armor piece that you can go and um, that you can go and. Uh, apply dyes to and change the color of it. Um, something, uh, something that doesn't have all of that um, dye replacement, it's not going to have all these files, so the process, and process isn't all this long.
you might have replaced the wrong one, but and if you do replace the wrong one, it's nothing to go back and just do that and correct that. It's not a problem at all. I mean, and if anything, if you put the wrong texture file into it and roll with it, y'all, it it'll probably just get a funny looking texture. And if anything, it actually just might be entertaining to say the least. Or it just might look really, really weird. And still possibly entertaining enough. Unsupported DDS. Okay, that's not okay. But it'll be alright. And I don't think 9 had anything really changed in it I, anyways. Yeah. It's going to be an unsupported DDS, and I think that might be because of what happened with the, with those two specular maps not um, not coming out right either. Um, but anyways, so once you're done with everything, you can just go ahead and exit out. It actually automatically updates the, um, the textures.bntx file anyways. Uh, so continuing on from there, next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually do the fresh text replacer, which of course this is where you need Python. Um, from here, what we're going to do is we're going to go nothing. Yep. Make sure we're going to the right folder, and then we're going to go to the switch folder. We're going to say armor20.text.bfres and this one we're going to want to the reason why we're doing this is because this is the this is the switch one that we are injecting the the bntx into so we're going to select that and now it's going to open up a window to look for the bntx texture and we're going to open that up and in case i didn't explain that right um Bfrost text replacer. It wants to look for the texture that you want to inject the BNT, uh, BNTX into. So, all right. Next thing is is now that that's done, we don't necessarily need that anymore, and we can go ahead and take this and drag it onto Yazofast, and it's going to create a bfrost.yaz0. And we can just take this and rename it to sbfres and yes, replace. And we don't necessarily need that anymore. All right, next thing is is um we're gonna go into uh, we're gonna load up Smash Forge. <clears throat> All right, um I'm going one more thing. I'm going to I'm actually going to uh, link the original article uh, that showed this guy to begin with. Uh, there was no video associated to it, but um, but there was an article that I, that you had to read and follow the instructions. Now, the thing about it is, is it show it described some things you had to do here in Smash Forge that was not very descriptive of exactly what you need to do so i'm gonna try and explain that and make sure i can get um make sure uh, it's as descriptive as possible all right so here you're going to take your uh the model the bfres model from this from the switch and we're gonna just open it into uh into smash forge on the right side we have mod list and you can see the folder it's from we're going to open this up, and here we're going to see armor20.bfres. We're going to right-click this and convert Wii U to Switch. Now here we're going to look for um, the file that uh, that's going to contain the Wii U model. So what we're going to do is we're going to back up here. Um, I just use the quick accesses a lot since that's what's there. Um, but we're going to use the armor20.bfres here, and we're going to open that up. And then we're going to hit this plus button, hit this plus button for models. Hit plus here for head, lower, and upper. 
now right here we're gonna get all of these um, all of these meshes uh, on each mesh we're gonna right click and generate tan by tan for each one and generate 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 now when you if you've noticed when you first uh, when you first click on a mesh file it actually changed the uh, the model here um, so depending on the model that's actually being uh, that it's actually being converted to it may or may not even show much of a difference it, it really depends uh, and, but generally speaking you'll be able to see what the uh, what the model changes to uh, kind of but once you have everything generated as a tan by tan don't come here and generate one on this little Mario looking dude uh, don't do you can't really do one there but yeah just on the little Mario dude don't do generate tan by tan there you don't want to do that uh, that'll break the file pretty much and it won't work um, you want to specifically do it for the mesh files themselves all right next uh, back up here at the armor 20 B for us we're gonna right click and click save um, and then we're going to come back to the switch file and click on armor 20 B for S and save and replace and once that's done we can actually close that out uh, next is going to be take this one and drag and drop it onto Yazzo fast and I don't necessarily need that anymore so we're going to rename this just like we did the text B for S and rename it to SB for us. and there we go that is that and next thing to do is actually to yeah next thing to do is actually going to be to uh, just port it over to um, port it over to our SD card so if you have your SD card and you can go ahead and uh, insert your SD card we're gonna go to atmosphere titles 11 e zeros ROM FS model now we're going to take these and drag and drop them if you have any any model and texture files for that one in there you can just go ahead and replace it if you want uh, I like to keep a backup of like all the unedited models and then everything that I've already edited and put it in there so like what what I had in there it's fine um, but once that's there we can actually close all this out uh, you can actually just go ahead and eject the SD card and put it into the switch sure that uh, hard power um, got my switch to hard power off all right so next thing is is I'm going to pop this open and turn my camera on all right so we're going to just take our SD card well SD card since it's inserted <coughs> oh, crap. Oh, hard power All right. In case you don't know, to hard power it off, uh, you hold the power button down for about 15 seconds. All right, and then with your RCM jig inserted, volume up and power button puts it into enters the RCM mode. Now I use my phone with Ricardo, so I'm gonna open up Hecate, and with that we're gonna go to 
launch and uh, CFW. I'm gonna let this do its thing. All right, now that that's done, what I'm gonna do is turn that back off and I'm going to insert my switch into the dock and I will see you there. Now that we're now that we are on the switch, we can load up uh, Breath of the Wild and see what our uh, our mod does in game. And as you can see, I've already got mods galore on this. Um, got, um, I've actually got uh, the Lingpo mod and loaded into it already. And uh, you'll you'll be able to see like when I first load into it, uh, one of the mods that I've already done, um, where I actually took a Lingpo mod and recolored the texture for it. It is bright. Just saying. And there we go. That is the one I'm talking about that I retextured. But anyway, so the Zelda armor, uh, the Zelda magic armor from Twilight Princess, I believe, goes over the Barbarian set. Or, no, maybe it wasn't the Barbarian set. Um, Oh wait, no, it goes over the soldier armor. Gotta remember my mods. Alright, but that would be it. And it is there. Actually looks pretty good. It is not a Lincoln mod though, but it looks fantastic nonetheless. All right, but that is it. That is how you port mods over to the Switch version of Breath of the Wild from Wii U or Simu. All right, I will catch you next time on the next guide.